What's going on everybody? I'm back at here at one of my favorite places up on the river. Gonna be going after some crappie. I love my crappie fishing now. And we're getting into probably the best time of year for them. We should be hitting the pre-spawn on them here real soon. If not, you know, kind of starting right now, they're going to be fattening up and getting ready to spawn here in the next couple of months once it hits springtime. So they're going to start really going into a feeding frenzy. And uh, so I'm going to just get out here, see what I can make happen today. Mainly going to target crappie, but I brought some stuff, some new things I've bought, try maybe for some bass and uh, brought some crickets and stuff. I'm going to try, see if I can find some brim too and whatever else we can find. So thank you guys for watching as usual. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like and a comment while you're here too. And hey, stay tuned for the action. Oh, looking fishy this morning. A bunch of, looks like brim or something busting on top, but I didn't bring any flies with me, which is probably what I, I would really need to try to catch them with the way they're busting. And I've been throwing the jig around for some crappie. Haven't gotten anything yet, but it's still pretty early, so. so get a little bit more light. This water's a little dirty. I bet you'll start catching them. And also got another buddy meeting me out here, here in a few minutes. Hopefully I can get him on some crappie too. I don't know, he ain't gonna be a keeper, but that was a subtle hit. First fish of the morning, crappie. I don't know. Might be keeping size a little bit on the smaller side, but I'll just fry him up whole. Swallowed it down though. <laughs> Shit, I'm having a hard time to say he's it got him in the gill, so yeah, I'll put him in the bag. So that's the target. Nice crappie. So different stuff. So he'll just fry up whole. He was shallow. Alright, so this is first for me, catching a crappie on the fly rod with a live cricket. It's actually gonna be a keeper right there, a little bit bigger than the other one I caught. So that'll do. Nice little crappie right there. There we go. That's not bad. Good deal. Let's go catch some more like that. All right. I think you got a little, yep, a little brim on. A little bit too small to keep, but no, nah, that's a brim. I actually did just catch a crappie doing this a second ago, though. <laughs> Only caught two crappie, though, this morning. So, a little brim. I just got bored for a second aside, tried to brim fish and. <laughs> He's good about that. <laughs> There's a little brim now, Sean. A little too small to keep, but. All right, it's been a tough bite today, but finally got over here in my little honey hole and had a few hits and got another crappie finally. He's a little small. I might keep him just uh, since I already got two in the bag, try to make a little bit of a meal. It'll just fry up whole. And loving, I forgot to mention, we're trying out a new rod today that I built myself for crappie. It's a seven foot rod and then a brand new reel, Shimano Nexave, with some six pound mono. And that'll be fish number two on the new rod. That's for sure. All right, finally on this fish number, uh, crappie number four changed up colors don't know if that's gonna make a difference a little bit of a reddish color another smaller guy but like I said I'm trying to make a meal since I already got some in the bag so we'll go ahead and put him in and uh, just fry him up whole 
I finally found a nice wad of them over here. So hopefully we can catch a few more out of here. All right, cropping number five for the day. Switched up colors again. Once again, I'm throwing the Overcast Lures Nano Shad, which is always my go-to crappie bait. And I can't remember, I think this is like yellow jacket or something. It's a chartreuse in gray, and uh, that color seemed to work too. So we got five in the bag now. Like I said, a little bit smaller than I like to keep, but I'm gonna try to make a meal since I already had to keep one anyway, one smaller one. So maybe one or two or three more and we'll be good. There you go. There you go. That's, is that a bass? No, that's a broom. That's a damn nice broom. I was about to say, that sucker is fat. I, that's like the fattest brim I've ever seen. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, you only caught one fish today, but damn, is it a good one. <laughs> or is that a... Yeah, that's a fucking brim. I was wondering if it may have been a uh, goggle eye, but... Yeah, he's barely hooked inside. Jesus. Actually, here, we gotta lip them. That is, I think that's goggle eye, actually. I'll take a quick pick for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Something can so I'm I think that's looking at the mouth, how bigger it is. That's a goggle eye, I'm pretty sure. Something kept pecking it. It was probably the crappie, and then that sucker swung in and was like, I'll take care of that. Right as I was coming in, and it just wasn't hitting it, but I just, I just started bouncing it on the bottom, and this guy slammed it. Man, so today was a grind, but I managed to walk away with five crappie, um, landed that one small brim too. Uh, buddy Sean, he ended up with a nice goggle eye and a really nice bowfin right at the end. He was still gonna fish for trying to catch a couple more crappie if he could uh, land some. But all in all, it's like we caught some fish today, so even though it was a tough bite, we, uh, we didn't get skunked, so can't ask for much more than that. So thank you guys for watching as usual. If you haven't already and you're still watching this, please subscribe to the channel and drop a like or comment while you're here. And I appreciate everything you guys do. So you have a great afternoon, great day. See you next time.